This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, in the, um, in the last lecture, we looked at money market hedging, and I went through an example where we were receiving money. But as I said, uh, because it does confuse some people, um, I think it's important I also show you what we do when we're paying money. So let's get straight into it, example seven. It's the same basic principle. We are due to pay money in three months' time. And so how are we going to do it? See, just like before, we want to convert at spot to avoid the exchange rate risk. In order to convert at spot, um, we're going to, well, we want to um, buy dollars, so I'm going to need pounds to buy dollars, we're going to have to borrow pounds. So we'll borrow some pounds, we'll convert at spot, so we'll have dollars, and then we'll put the dollars on deposit for however long it is, three months. However, the reason I think uh, I, rather, I rather do have to show you this is well, that's what, what's going to happen. Borrow pounds, convert to spot, deposit dollars. We're going to have to do the workings in reverse. Because I don't know how many pounds I'm going to borrow until I know how many dollars I'm going to deposit. And the dollars I'm going to put on deposit I have to make sure I've bought enough dollars so as I'll have earned eight million in three months' time. So we're going to have to do the workings in reverse. We're going to say, how much do I need to deposit so that I'll have eight million dollars? Therefore, how many pounds do I need to get that money? And therefore, how many pounds do I need to borrow? So let's do it. Let's work out, first of all, how much, how many dollars to deposit for three months. I'm going to have to, I need dollars to pay this eight million. I'm going to put dollars on deposit now so that I will have eight million in three months. Uh, what's the interest going to be? Uh, since we'll be depositing dollars, the relevant rate is 6.4%. Again, it's for three months, so three twelfths. And therefore, we'll actually earn interest of 1.6%. How much do I need to deposit well, I want to end up with eight million dollars in three months. So the amount I'll deposit in dollars, I'll need to deposit seven eight seven four zero one six now. If we've got that many dollars on deposit now, after interest of 1.6, in three months' time, I'll have the 8 million we need to pay uh, our supplier to pay Q. All right, I need that many dollars now, so I'll convert now at spot. And how many pounds will it cost me? Uh, dollars, each dollar is 1.620, so I'll divide 7874016 divided by 1.6, but which rate? In order to be able to deposit, I'm buying, I'm needing to buy dollars, so it'll be 1.6201, our buy rate. And so how much do I need? 7874016. 
4016 divided by 1.6201. 4860204 now. So that's how many pounds I need. Uh, finally, of course, to keep the timing the same, uh, let's borrow pounds for the three months. So borrow pounds now for three months. Uh, what will the interest rate be? Well, we're borrowing pounds, so it's the higher rate, and here 9.9%. Again, they're always annual, so for three months it's three twelfths, or a quarter, which means the actual interest for the period will be 2.475. How much did we borrow? 4860204. Sorry. Uh, add on the interest, the amount I'll be owing in three months, multiplied by one plus the interest rate. And the amount will be owing in three months, 4860204 times 1.02475 is 4980494 in three months' time. Well, there we are. And again, the same story as we had last time. In that as of now, there is no net cash flow. We've borrowed dollar, pounds, we've converted to dollars, we've deposited the dollars. As far as we're concerned, we don't end up with any net cash flow now. The cash flows occur in three months' time. Uh, and in three months' time, uh, two things happen. One is, of course, we have to repay our borrowing. Four nine eight or four nine four, and that amount is fixed. But of course, the other thing that happens is our dollar deposit matures. And how much do we get? The amount deposited would have grown with the interest to eight million dollars. And of course, that we will pay to whoever it is, the supplier. And so the only cash flows occur in three months time. We pay out 4.98 pounds. Supplier gets eight million dollars. And it is fixed. It was fixed interest borrowing and depositing. Uh, we convert the converting was done at today's spot, and so it's completely irrelevant to us now uh, what the spot is in three months' time. So very common in the exam. Very common. The only trouble is, you see, even though it's taken me um, quite a while to explain it. I'm afraid by the time you come to the exam, that won't be many marks, I mean, five or six marks. You've really, really got to uh, learn it. And then it's boom, 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 as fast as you can. Okay, so that's money market hedging. The next lecture, we'll look at futures, which get rather more exciting.